Welcome back. We're still in Mishlim right now. And there's a new Divine Blade. The Divine Blend... Blend. The Divine Blend. Yorkshire Gold. Yes. Yes, the Yorkshire Gold. No idea. Anyway, we need to go around and view some scenes all over the place because some have opened up now. So I'm very interested to see what happens with these two. An Amberl Amulet. You got this for me. It's just a little thing, but I wanted you to have it. There's no telling what might happen after tomorrow, so I thought you should have an amulet for good luck. I appreciate all the luck I can get. Soldier or no, depending on how things play out with the Great Twilight, I might... Uh, I'm sorry, I, I just got the mood, didn't I? Yet it's fine. My father's a soldier. I know what it's like to have to wait for someone to come home. But do make sure you come home, Nightheart. I want to see you again. Fiona? I'll be back, I promise you that. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. I remember right, those two are officially an item. Make a good match. Fiona's every bit as strong as he is. I've been trying to think of what I can do besides just waiting and hoping. So I'm holding a continence and arc tomorrow. Marky Hyam's permission, of course. It's a great idea. I'm sure your music will give everyone the courage they need. <laughs> I certainly hope so. Right, I'm assuming that will actually be the same if we go here. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Right, so let's just... I was going to say let's teleport somewhere, but... Let's just go outside and see who's moved. Then it gives an idea of everything else. I want to see if they've got anything new on the... Like, with the, with the talk going back to blue or something like that. Star in there, though. Let's just look. Ooh, some stars over there as well. Well, hotel first. Dun, 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 dun. It's not that way. One down there. One down there? Well, two down there, but you know. Scene down there, I assume. Oh, there you are, Professor. Is there something special about that notebook? Looks like it's seen a few winters, to say the least. Hmm, it's nothing. Merely checking its contents before I disposed of it, to ensure that nothing important was overlooked, you see. It's one of the few relics left by my first disciple, after all. That would mean that Franz Reinfurt's... Even now, it is a treasure trove of ideas. Actually offered an excellent solution for a problem that I had identified. And I've already pulled out all the research I can. There's no reason to hold on to what remains. I thought that our time part might result in something productive, but that hope appears to have been in vain. I see. Franz Reinford. According to what we saw in the spectral moon mirror, it was just an alias for him. Hmm. I'll leave it to you to figure out where to go from here. Right, Professor. We'll do what we can. By the way, if you're not opposed, I'd be grateful if you could hold off on disposing of that notebook. Until we reach a conclusion. With him, I mean. I don't see why not. I doubt I'll be in a position to deal with it tomorrow anyway. Thank you, Professor. Hard to believe it's been ten years since... <laughs> I had far higher expectations than this. How disappointing. It looks like he's still bothered by it after all. His own way. Seems we'll finally have to clear things up with him. Alright. Chess! What's that there, though? Looks like it could be in English. Potentially. I don't know. Don't know if anybody can make that out. Give it a shot if you can. Let me know. Because I'd be curious. Have you moved? No, you no, no, you were there before, weren't you? I don't think I uh, yeah, I think it's like it's just the green stars from the looks of it. Hey. The general here told me you reached some kind of crazy milestone. Congratulations. I'm sure you don't need me to tell you not to let this go to your head, right? Alright, this isn't the end for me. It's only the beginning. I must admit, seeing two high level eight leaves practitioners going at it lit a fire within me as well. Care to join me for a sparring session, Wallace? Or to work some of that excitement off? Sure. If that's what you want, Count me in. I know I'm probably the last person you want to hear this from, but don't push yourselves too hard, alright? Divine Blade Schwarzer. 
It's got a nice ring to it. <laughs> Thanks. Right, so where are we going after this? So that was one part of the pinnacle of the eight-leaf style. It'll be a sight that I won't forget in this lifetime. Alright, so let's actually go... I was going to say to the wharf, but actually we'll leave that till last, because... There's no need for us to actually go there, is there? But... I'm getting lost in where we are. I'm like, which way am I facing? Should be some updates with certain people, surely. Because, for instance, where is Elliot? Unless he's part of, like, a different scene now. It's but you two haven't changed. Because Elliot was with Fiona, so I'm just thinking people who have moved, they would have had people with them. So they would have updated as well, so... Ah, there you go, you see? I'm so sorry about my father. He can be so quick-tempered. It's fine, I had it coming anyway. That's what I get for putting it off for so long. Huh? What do you mean? Well, I was thinking. I mean, if everything goes right tomorrow, it would make it for okay. Maybe I should finally go introduce myself to your family. You know, do it right this time. Do you mean it? Listen, we've got a hard road ahead of us, but there's no one I'd rather walk it with than you, Mary. I feel the same way, Makarov. Wow. And I got to be here for this. I've been rooting for them since I was a student, so it's great to see them find some happiness in all the chaos. Oh, hey. What the hell are you doing here? Me, I don't... Uh, well, you know how it is. I'm not sure we do, to be honest. But you can count on us to do our part tomorrow. For you and in the Instructor Mary's sake. Well, right back at you, I guess. Just don't breathe a word of this to the others, all right? Especially Mint. <laughs> sure, my lips are sealed. <clears throat> Just don't let anyone... Uh, don't tell anyone about this, uh, all right? Especially Mint. Especially Mint. Makarov, I give a talking to my father. I don't know if I'll make much of a wife, but I'd be glad to have you as my fiance. Oh, shucks. Let's worry about all that after we make it through tomorrow. Oh my. Oh, oh my. Oh my. <laughs> Good evening. Looks like you fine fellows are having a splendiferous time. How about we take this opportunity to help strengthen the bonds of our friendship? What say you? I ain't told me about this. You really do pester people when you're sloshed, huh? You used to be an instructor at Thor's main campus. Anyway, would you mind not breathing on me like that? You reek of liquor. No, no, don't be like that. Come on, don't be so cold. I brought snacks and I'm willing to share. Oh boy. Well, we know Instructor Thomas is a happy drunk, at least. Now, which of you gentlemen gets the pleasure of sitting next to me? Him. <laughs> we'll just have to take turns, then. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Yeah, dee, 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 dee. It's gonna be the same for all of them, I imagine. Yes. Alright, so you're the same, you're the same. Alright, let's try it here. Boom. Lantern's gone. And Sherazard's here. Hello. Still, you believe that you finally obtained the title of Divine Blade? A student that any teacher would be proud of. I've only been able to come this far thanks to your instruction and guidance. <laughs> well, I'm not going to argue with you on that one. Anyway, just try and focus on using your remaining time in a meaningful way. Same to you, Instructor. Gotta say, though, I think Shahrazad might actually be invincible. The pace is right for her. She can just drink and drink and drink. So what's happened with Oliver, then? Because Mueller's moved as well, hasn't he? Hmm, drinking competitions are nice, but you really take your time. It's truly divine. Alright, then. So... Just wondering if, like, Yusus and Millium have changed up as well, but... 
Mao. What of you, huh? Never would have guessed we'd reunite on a night like this one. It certainly is lovely. Though we have been keeping correspondence, I believe it's been about a year since we last met face to face. Invited me to tea and gave me such a thoughtful gift back then. You remembered? Why, of course I remember. You were the one to teach me what beautiful form love could take. How could I ever forget? <laughs> well, you know, uh, I was just a youngster back then, that's all. Come on, Anton, you're enjoying this way too much. I love Sharon, really. She may have rejected me, but there's something I need to tell her while I can. I do wonder, why did you choose to come so far as Erebonia now? This may sound presumptuous, but could it be that you came here to see me? Uh, no, you've got it wrong. Well, actually, I mean, not all wrong. You don't know how much joy it brings me that you travel all this way for me. But as I already told you in my letters, you should utterly forget about me. I am not the person you think I am. Wait, but... I'm sorry I haven't told you this before. My life is one that's shrouded in darkness. The way I conduct myself and the way I love with selflessness is to cover up that part of me. So please stop this. It's best you never come and see me again. Sh Sharon? You don't mean that. Perhaps I should have said all of this sooner. No, Sharon, can't you see? My heart aches when I think of yours. The music's gonna change up. Huh? Realize something. In your final letter, I got the feeling you were trying to push back your own emotions. Under all that kindness, you harbor a terrible sorrow. It's weighed you down for a very long time, I believe. And that's why I had to tell you this one thing. You've had troubles in your life, and maybe you've lost hope in yourself. But I believe in you. Your experiences have made you who you are. Someone who makes everyone around her smile. I... Sorry. Maybe I've overstepped there. But I really needed to get that off my chest. I feel much better now. Anyway, I better get going, huh? Promise me you'll take care of yourself, Sharon. Anton, wait. Hmm? It took me by surprise, but now... Allow me to say something in return. But that I can finally face both my family, even myself, all because of you. So, thank you. I'm so grateful you came to see me. <clears throat> Aw, Anton, May. Anton? Your face is so red. Perhaps you should take a rest. <clears throat> Ricky, I think I'm in heaven. I only heard bits and pieces of their conversation, but... Probably wasn't something I should be listening in on. Still. I'm pretty sure that Sharon feels just the same as he does. Not that they were reunited before the battle begins. Genuinely, at this point, it's like... I do hope we don't see the conclusion... Uh, with, no, I do hope that is the conclusion of the story. Like, I do hope we don't see Anton again. Or if we do, it's in different circumstances. It's not how we've seen him throughout the series thus far. It's like, I, I just want... It's that sort of thing, like, he was so close with Fran and stuff. But here, he's really stepped up. It's like, he's he's not... First we put it, it's like, he's not the Anton we know. In a good way. He's matured. It's like, oh, mate. Well done can't believe it. I should get to spend some more time with Sharon. It feels like a dream. What I hope I won't have to wake up from any time soon. That reminds me. Olivia, the guy who invited me gave me this. We can have it. But he had plenty of fun. Oh. Okay, if you're sure. Thanks. Of course, go ahead and enjoy yourself. Oh. can't believe this is finally happening. But what am I supposed to talk to him? To, to talk about. I know, Sharon, would you like to hear about my travels? It's nothing all that special, but... Oh, don't say that, Anton. I'd love to hear about some of the things you've seen and done on the road. Oh. That's great. This one time I was on the floor. Okay, so... 
It was this time I was hanging out in the capital of Le Burl and... <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I had no idea at the time, but it turned out that... Looks like Sharon and Anton are actually hitting it off. Good. Because it's, it's that sort of thing, it's like... We know, we know Anton can be a great guy when, when he applies himself correctly, and he just did. And Sharon deserves someone like that. She does. It's just like, oh, that's just so nice. But let's use that ticket up. It's like, da 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 Do this last one with Kurt, here. Yeah. Reen took out the orchestra. We know this stuff. Alright. What a lot of ingredients for us to choose from. So now we just got to figure out where to start. You're a miner, so we'll have to make it non-alcoholic for sure. I understand. I have a few ideas in mind for flavor combinations. Let's get to discussing, shall we? You're welcome to use the ingredients we have on hand, too. Can't wait to try your concoction. The two of them work together to make a cocktail. They settle on which ingredients would complement the drink best through trial and error. After a while, their creation was complete. Ooh. I present to you the Jewel Blade Lemonade. So you went for a lemonade mocktail. Looks delicious, Kurt. To a good balance between the jewel, sweet and savour flavours of the honey and lemon. I took inspiration from a drink my mum would make after training sessions. Lemon juice and honey would make all the muscle fatigue I'd worked up melt away. I decided there was a way to improve it even further, so I added a pinch of salt. <laughs> I didn't expect you to be so into this. I really like what you've done here. It's really unique. In fact, I think I'll add it to our menu. Why don't we enjoy a glass together on that bench? Enjoy the rest of your evening. Just saw the drink pop in there. Ba -ba -da -ba -dum. The two enjoyed their special cocktail while basking in the light of the lanterns. The sound of waves filling their ears. But while they potted ways and returned to what they had been doing. Right, I just want to check on these guys over here. While we're here. Okay, so they didn't update. I just think your Sarah updated, but it's like it seems Sarah updated in relation to the Anton stuff, like stuff had moved around here, so. Right, so turn everything in this area as far as I could see. Right, question mark. Let's go over here now. Any green stars or movements about to seem like there is? Anything I've got down there, because obviously it's something... It's going to be Olivier Mueller, isn't it? But anyone else moved? No. Oh, what a wonderful evening. The joyous sounds and cheering crowds coming from Mish's stage show really make this place feel alive. You're not fooling anyone, you know. I'd appreciate that you're pacing yourself on the drinking. Still clearly on edge. Can you blame me? Yet the world rests entirely in our actions tomorrow. A small case of the nerves is only natural. It is, but you're not worried about tomorrow. You're worried about your plan for tonight. It's weird how he slouched on the chair there. Ah, I should have known trying to hide it would be folly. Of course you would see through me. You've been my bosom friend for over 20 years. Against my better judgment, clearly. Well, do whatever you feel you must. I'll be sure to drink a toast to your memory. You say that as if you don't believe I'll succeed. What's that all about? Something must be going down tonight. I mean, can you not put the pieces together there, Rain? Really? Jeez. Although he's oblivious to such things. What of you, Moolah? Did you manage to contact Le Burl? Uh -huh. I know you must be worried. What with the connection to Millie Mirage and everything? No, she's strong. She'll be fine. My father, my stepmother, even Kurt... We all have our own paths. As a fellow vendor, I will follow mine as well. I intend to stand shoulder to shoulder with you tomorrow. Until the very end. Until the very end. Alright. Let us drink one final toast. 
the moon, and to Mishy. <laughs> Very well. To the moon, and to Mishy. Well, not about to interrupt a moment like that. I'll leave them be. To the moon, and to Mishy, yes. Of course, of course. Get him here. His head in in the flower bed. Alright. All right. So, where else do we need to check? Cast the mirrors. You three haven't moved at all. Is this worth checking in the reception area? Oh no. Green stars. Hmm. Margarita, when did you change? Well, I've got a little package, so I nibbled on a cereal bar I brought along. Would you like a bite? Oh, um, no, thank you. I, I'm all right. Such a peaceful night, isn't it? But my, how cold. You feel my lips drying out already. Do they look dry to you, Vincent? Take a good close look. Is she me asking me to kiss her? Why, oh, why did she have to take a nibble of that silly old bar? No, how could I be so callous? Love is blind, is it not? But her appearance, Margarita, is still my darling Margarita. I'm sure he'll figure it out eventually. Oh, alright. Let's compose yourself, gather your nerve. For other mockery does a spot could hide a passionate woman. So why must I waver so? It seems to be the same. Oh, there is a green star in here as well. Into the castle of mirrors? Yes. Seems weird that it asked such. Okay. Hey, yeah. Uh, sorry I'm late. Look who I ran into my way over, though. Uh, hi everyone. Didn't know you'd all be wandering the park together. That's fine. We're planning on taking a look around as a foursome. Of course. You're welcome to join us, Elliot. I mean, the Arkansas Performances rap party has been kind of put off after all. I hope you'll join us. Ferris and I couldn't be there for the rehearsal, so we'd love to hear all about working with them. Well, sure, I'd be happy to. Also, I was actually planning a little performance of my own later. You're welcome to join me if you'd like. Sounds wonderful. There's nothing like music to lift one's spirits. Yeah, and lifting spirits is what tonight is for. I'll lift the audience's spirits so high, they'll rip right out of their bodies. That might not be quite as soothing as we're hoping for, Mint. <laughs> Count me in two. Sounds like it'll be fun. So nice to see all of them laughing and smiling together. One thing bothers me, though. Didn't Min say she just ran into Elliot? Pretty sure she told me she was planning to meet up with him. Well, as long as they're having fun. It'd be fun to see them all perform together again. Can't wait. Anyway, let's enjoy the interactions. It's been a while since we got together with the others like this. I think I'll try to catch up with them while we're having fun. Do, 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 do. Oh, I know. If we invite Instructor Mary, it'll be a whole wind orchestra reunion. But she's talking with Uncle Makarov right now. I wonder how all that's going. Guess I'll have to ask him when she's done. Maybe you should just let her be. I know. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let her be. Let her be. I really wanted the girls to have a place where they could just be girls and have fun. But, well, it is just Elliot. And he has been friendly with the girls ever since we were at Thor's. Honestly, glad they let him have a place in their group. Yeah. I'm afraid I missed Arkansas's performance, so I'm especially looking forward to tonight. Imagine the performance will be even more stunning in the light of the full moon. <laughs> Can't wait to see it for myself. All right. I came to a sort of conclusion on the matter Bridget needed advice on. We're thinking that the five of us should go around together. I also want to hear more about Elliot's adventures on tour. He's been doing these impromptu performances in churches all over the Empire. She has all sorts of stories to share. Alright. So we've tried in there, so Horror Coaster is it, isn't it? In terms of checking out places? It doesn't seem like we've got anything different going on here. Like maybe Laura might say anything. Nope. But maybe because of the whole void situation. But no, right, so to the wharf. Valley Bar. The Ashen Knight. Nothing changed here, though. 
Doesn't look it based on the dots around. Hey, Valimar. It's good to see you. You as well, Reen. The cusp of the great twilight may soon be upon us. This evening is still as lovely as ever. Yeah, it really is. Now that you mention it, I had an evening just like this two years back. How uh, coincidental. She was thinking exactly the same. I know I said this already, but really I'm glad you're back to your old self again. Just sorry that I couldn't do anything to help. I too will say something I have already said many times before. You needn't worry. My past awakeners have all experienced their share of agony and hesitation, and yet each of them continue to persevere in spite of it. Eurene are no different than they. I guess, but wait. When you say past awakeners, that includes Emperor Dracos, right? Was he like me too? Naturally so. I finally managed to recover the whole of my memories, you see. Though, because I fell to sleep not long after the War of the Lions, the Dracos I remember was only a prince. It is both amusing and gratifying to learn that the hopeless optimist I once knew is today praised as father of the Renaissance. <laughs> I'll bet it is. So, what do you think of him now then? The measure of a man differs, of course, from youth to middle age. But the colour of his soul remains the same. I sense no trace of him being manipulated by Ishmelga. Yeah, it's all a plan then. Like I said, there's, there's something going on there. I see. Thanks, Valimar. I think I'm ready to face him, no matter how things turn out. And when I do, it's up to me. No. To all of us to stop him. That pleases me to hear. It also makes me realize just how much you have grown, Reen. I still have a long way to go. Without the luxury of time. Tomorrow's the day that decides it all. I'll be counting on you, partner. As will I. My power is yours. Yeah. I suppose this makes you a Divine Blade as well now. Your swordsmanship has improved beyond what I can even imagine. I guess you saw everything then, huh? Sorry for making you move out of your spot for us like that. That said, I couldn't have made it this far without the Lieutenant General's help or Viscount Arsaid's guidance. Or Master Kafai's wisdom most of all. You have your master, your mentors, and your peers at your side. Each an invaluable relationship to you, no doubt. Your actions tonight may result in another different relationship to cherish. But, Valimar! <laughs> My apologies. I was merely reminded of Tricles and Leanne. You wouldn't want to leave any regrets. I am certain others have advised you the same. Yeah, I hear you. I'll make sure to think it over. <laughs> Dude. You should be proud of how much you've grown, Reen. Enough of that for the time being. Focus on enjoying the rest of your evening. Imagine that was the last bit. Yeah. Alright, so what else have we got left? Not much, have we? So I'm thinking... Let's actually see about ending this part here. In the next part, I'll... I'll probably have to just leave an area and something's gonna happen, isn't it? So, see you in the next part. Ta-da for now.